The Government of Canada's Global Skills Strategy is dedicated to attracting the world's best and brightest talent for your Canadian business. We're helping Canadian businesses grow by making it quicker and easier to bring highly skilled global talent into the country. Employers using the global talent stream and workers applying for work permits can get their applications approved in two weeks. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Wolo. I create content about immigrating to Canada, life in Canada. And I'm so excited today because I want to talk about immigration. And you must have seen the small video I played um, at the beginning of this um, video. And I want to talk about it. And that is the global talent stream and the global skills strategy. I'll be playing some parts of the video so that you have a little bit of idea of what it is about. And then I'll talk about the global talent stream. Canada needs to be on the cutting edge of innovation. There's competition around the world, and if you do find a highly skilled person, likely they're looking everywhere. And if we're not there out of the gate quick with a really easy process, we're going to lose them. I was the software developer for this machine, and I came here through the global talent stream. It was pretty fast. Employers across the country are benefiting from the global skills strategy. So you can see from that video that it is possible to actually hire people from outside Canada to come and work in Canada and it is specific to the IT industry and some research people and it is called the global skills strategy and a part of it is called the global talent stream. Now, the Global Talent Stream was launched um, sometime 2016-2017, and I'm, I'm not so sure of the year. It was launched so that Canada can be competitive in the tech industry. And yours truly, the competition is coming up because they are looking to compete against countries like the USA, but I doubt if they will ever get to the likes of USA. You know, USA has the Silicon Valley and Seattle, where you have the tech hubs, the tech Park. Yeah, I think they call it Tech Park. I'm not so sure. I'm not a technology person. No, please forgive me. Anyway, yeah. So basically, they are trying to compete with people all over the world in creating tech hubs and innovations. And um, they are hiring people from outside of Canada who have very high skilled experiences to come and work in Canada. So I'll be leaving the list of these occupations. There are about 12 occupations in the global talent stream. And if you find your occupation there, I'll show you the list. If you find your occupation there, what you should be doing, first of all, is to start searching for jobs. And if you're following me on the Canada Info Hub Instagram page, I've actually left a list of companies, tech companies in Canada, where people can apply for jobs for. And um, if you're interested, I can send you the email of that list. Those who are interested, please don't bombard my emails. I've received so much emails and I'm thinking of maybe stop receiving emails soon because I have something coming up. That's by the way, I don't want to digress. So in continuation of what I was saying, what you should be doing is to, um, of course, apply for jobs. If you see your occupation listed, if your knock is listed, apply for jobs in tech companies. And if you eventually get a job offer you will be coming to canada and the processing time the good thing is that the processing time is actually two weeks so within two weeks you will get your visa you can apply for yourself and your family and within two weeks you will get your visa and come to canada under work permit and after one year work experience you will be eligible to apply for permanent residency through the Canadian experience class. All you need to do is just to search for jobs in these areas. And there are actually exemptions. Two occupations are exempted from work permits if what they're going to do is less than um, a year. That's for researchers. Anybody who is a researcher and looking to do more research in Canada, you can actually look for research opportunities. You'll be exempted from work permit and you can you know work for as long as you can but once it is beyond six months you have to apply uh for a work permit and all that before you can then complete your one year experience before you can then apply for the canadian experience class so the number one requirement is a job search and of course you need a canadian standard resume to get 
to these employers. Like I said before, I have made a list of some of the tech companies. You can also do your own independent research via LinkedIn and apply to these companies. And if your skill is really needed, definitely you will get a job offer that will bring you to Canada under the global talent stream, the global skills strategy. So this is really possible. It's very, very possible. And um, a lot of um, people are taking advantage of these opportunities. People from India, people from China, people who have been aware of the global talent stream, they've actually been taking advantage of these opportunities and coming to Canada on that work permit and then later on apply for permanent residency. So I don't understand why people who are in Africa are not taking advantage of these opportunities. If you are not aware, you are all you are now aware that there is something like the global talent stream and you can apply for jobs. If you get a job offer, you can apply for work permit and the processing time for the work permit is two weeks and you can come to Canada with your family. So this is the information I want to share. If you know anybody whose occupation is on this list, please tell the person to start searching for jobs. If you need a Canadian standard resume, I can refer you to the HR professional. I think I should be leaving the website of that HR professional on the description box so that um, you can just, you know, contact the person and get your Canadian standard resume and start applying for job opportunities um, in these areas that will bring you to Canada um, under the global talent stream. So this is the information I want to share today. Please, if you know any friend or family member whose occupation is on the list, you can inform the person, you can share this video with the person and tell the person that there is this opportunity in Canada. And um, if the person is interested, the person can take advantage of it. And of course, the world is, you know, a global village now. So we need talented people in Canada. Although it might be brain drain in certain parts of the world, but I mean, everybody is individualistic. It is where you feel you comfortable with, where you feel you can thrive in that you go to. If you feel you're not thriving wherever you are, there is no harm in moving. And that is why we have immigration. So thank you so much for watching. I have talked too much and I don't like talking too much. And see you in my next video. Bye-bye.